Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Steven, the 918 agent, and we are going over the places to live here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So if you're looking at maybe moving from, you know, the suburbs to Tulsa or move, thinking about moving from Tulsa to the suburbs, or if you are brand new to Tulsa and don't really know where to, you know, buy a house, where to find a rental, this is the video that you need to watch. Now I am a real estate agent by trait. And so if you need any help with um, any of this information, please let me know in the comment section below. Also, my contact information is somewhere above me. So anytime during this video, if you need to get in contact with me, please don't hesitate to ask. But let's go ahead and go over the things or the places uh, that you want to look at when moving to Tulsa. Let's go ahead and get it rolling. Okay, so let's start with the area of Tulsa. Now, Tulsa city limits have, has about 400,000 people. But when you add greater Tulsa, which is the suburbs and cities surrounding Tulsa, we are closer to a million people. So I think it's very, very important that we go over, you know, the greater Tulsa area first, and then we'll work our way into basically the Tulsa city limits. So if you notice the map to the side, I'm going to start from north going to south. Um, so we have Collinsville, northern northern Tulsa. That's basically right above Owasso. We have Sky Tooks. These are both smaller areas, anywhere from a population of, you know, 3,000 to about 6,000 people. Then we have Owasso, which is a bigger suburb of Tulsa, and this has about 25 to 30,000. Sperry, once again, is like Sky to Collinsville. Claremore is a little bit bigger. Then we got Verdigris, Broken Arrow, Tulsa, which we'll dive into here in a second, Sand Springs, Sepulpa, Glenpool, and Bigsby. Now, Tulsa is right here in the middle, if you can see my cursor. Jinx is right about there in Tulsa. And those are basically the big suburbs of Tulsa. You'll hear a lot of people talk about Sand Springs, Sepulpa, Jinx, Bigsby, Broken Arrow, and Owasso. So those are the big ones that you'll hear a lot of people talk about. And that's where actually a lot of people, if they work in Tulsa City Limits, most of the time if they have a family, they'll live out in the suburbs. But not all. But that's very important for you to know. Now we're going to dive in to actually going inside Tulsa City Limits. All right, so now let's go ahead and take a look at what Tulsa City Limits has to offer. North Tulsa is basically anything above Highway 244. So there are some major highway systems that I want to talk about real quick. So we got 169 going north to south. We also have Highway 75 going north to south. And some of our highways going to east to west is 244, Highway 51, Highway 44. And those are ones that you really need to uh, recognize. Highway system here is great, like I've said in my previous videos, which if you want to check out one, the pros and cons of Tulsa, that's where I'll talk about the highway system. All right, so let's go ahead and hit back to North Tulsa. So North Tulsa is basically anything above 244. Some things you'll find in North Tulsa is like the Tulsa Airport, Tulsa Zoo's up in North Tulsa. So those are some things you can uh, look at. So my definition of Midtown is anything below 244 between Yale and the river and then also anything above 44. So this pink area right here, this is what I consider Midtown. Now downtown's this orange spot right here. Um, some people don't consider east of downtown that area part of Midtown. I do, but I just want to put that in there just so you guys will know. Anything south of 44 and basically this area right here is bigsby this white area but anything south of 44 west of 169 we consider here in tulsa south tulsa now east tulsa uh, all the way out here to basically broken arrow because this is broken arrow down here we consider east tulsa some people consider it new tulsa um, just depending on who you talk to but those are the different areas in uh, zones that you want to be aware of when you're talking to people from here in Tulsa, if they're talking about Midtown or South Tulsa um, or even West Tulsa. So West Tulsa is right over here. You just want to pause. All right. So I forgot to mention this in the intro, but if you're looking for more information and was looking for maybe a one-on-one -on -one setting, please let me know. I will do a Zoom call with you. We can go over, you know, 
the best places to rent or buy in your price range, your budget. We had some additional questions about Tulsa. I can answer them during that sec during that time. Also, if you are moving to Tulsa or thinking about moving to Tulsa and you're here for the weekend, please reach out. I love to you know show you around Tulsa. I will drive you around. We go see see different places, also some different houses and things like that. Um, I did that with a couple of clients over the last couple of weeks and they've said it worked really well for them. So I wanna offer that for all my viewers that are thinking about moving or living in Tulsa, okay? All right, sorry, just had to mention that, but let's go ahead and get back to the video and play. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go into more detail on specific areas in the Tulsa area. So I got all this information from niche.com, so N-I-C-H-E.com. And this is what gave me a lot of information and actually really good information. I was surprised. They're, they're really close on a lot of things. But the top zip code that I would uh, go with if you're looking at either renting or buying in Tulsa and you have a family is the 74137. Now, you'll be in Tulsa city limits, but you'll be in the Jinx School District, which is very, very important because in my opinion, Jinx has the best school district in Tulsa, I think, hands down. But there'll be some people that disagree with me. So the overall grade that they gave this zip code is an A+. Once again, public schools are great. Nightlife, it has a little bit nightlife. Not as much as downtown area, but it has the uh, River Spirit Casino. It's getting an outlet mall very soon in that area. And it has the Jinx Riverwalk, which you have, you know, Top Golf there. You have a lot of restaurants and some pretty cool stuff to do in that area. You're also pretty close to uh, Turkey Mountain. So um, really, really good place to live. Now let's go ahead and go in down a little bit further here. And population in this area is about 30,000. And then the medium home value is about 300,000, which I agree with. Now it says the rent is around $965 a month. I think it's a little bit more than that. I think you'll probably be closer to 1,100 to 1,200. But for the most part, they did a really good job of um, you know giving us details for this area. Another cool thing that they've done is they also listed a couple of houses that are for sale in that area. So you'll see a wide range of houses. So you'll see a house for 135,000, and then you'll see a 1.1 million dollar house right down the street. Very typical, uh, especially this day and age for Tulsa. We have a lot of people coming in and tearing down and rebuilding because of land in Tulsa is very, very valuable, especially to be closer to, you know, uh, the central of it. So it's not not uncommon that you see that. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch over to Google and show you the actual zip code and a little bit more details of what that zip code has to offer. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at this 74137 zip code. And you'll notice that it's basically 81st all the way down to 121st. Now, this is what we call South Tulsa. So remember those districts I was telling you about earlier in the zones? This is definitely part of South Tulsa. So some things I wanted to point out to you is the River Spirit Casino. That's in the zip code. Also, right across the Arkansas River, we'll have, you know, Jinx. A lot of this area is considered Jinx School District, but Tulsa uh, Tulsa city limits. So that's very important to know. This is where the Jinx river walk is. So we have the Tulsa aquarium over there. We also have that top golf place that basically is an indoor driving range, um, which is really, really cool. Then that Turkey mountain that I mentioned is basically just right down riverside hop on 71st street and you're at Turkey mountain. I definitely recommend this area. If you have a family and you are looking for good school districts and also a safe place to live, I recommend this good place okay the next zip code we're going to go over is 741 or 74133 once again this is in uh that south tulsa area that i mentioned before but we're going a little bit more east so instead of being in jean school district you're going to be in union school district which is another top school um, not as high as jinx uh on my top list but it's still up there really nice school uh the overall grade it gives for this zip code uh, on this website is A plus public schools, a nightlife, a plus there's a lot of things I'm going to go over here in just a little bit and bring it up on the map. So you can see, uh, housing's a B plus I agree with that diversity's a good for families, a and job B plus. Okay. I can, I can do that. I can deal with that. This population is about 46,000. And then the median home value is around 180,000, uh, median rents about 900. 
I would probably go once again, 1,000 to 1,100. That's just me. Uh, rent to own, 48% rental, own 52%. I think it's probably more 60, 40, um, but it's pretty close. And then houses for sale. Once again, you'll see houses anywhere from 800,000 to basically 150,000. That's just Tulsa for you. Um, you know, you're in a, a little area and you have house, houses all over the price range or everywhere. So very typical, but let's go ahead and take a look in and see what we have to do in this area. All right, so let's go ahead and look at this zip code of 74133. Now I'm going to make this area a little bit smaller if you're looking at rental or buy, buying in this area. So I would actually move this red line, um, south a little bit to 71st. And then also I would move this line over to basically 169. Also, I would move this up. I mean, right now, once you get past basically Highway 64, it turns into the Creek Turnpike. Um, I would uh, eliminate that and just keep everything up north. Um, but once again, this is also a nice area. So let's go over the things to do. So in this area, we have our mall. We have Woodland Hills Mall. And it's a really, really great mall. And I would, you know, it's, it's really nice. You have a lot of stuff to do there. I don't know what else I can really say about it. Um, some other things we have to do is we have a Super Target on 71st Street. We have a Sam's Club. We have an IMAX theater right here. Um, we have a lot of shopping, a lot of food places right here on 71st Street. It is very, very busy um, and has a lot of things to do. So if you want you know, things to do like shopping and eating and things like that, this would be a great place for you. Now, once we get past the uh, Creek Turnpike or... Uh, Highway 64, we have a Costco basically on Memorial, which Memorial is a very, very busy street in Tulsa. And we have a lot of shopping once we get, you know, past the Creek Turnpike and down into this area. This is another great, great zip code. Great for families. Um, if you're looking for that type of thing, this is another great area for you to look at for rentals. or. The last area I'm going to go over is our Midtown area. Now there's a couple of different zip codes in this Midtown area, but I'm going to give you two. But the first one I'm going to give you is 74114. Once again, this is our Midtown area from those zone and district maps I showed you. So let's go over the grading scale. Basically it gives it A plus overall. So this area is a little bit lighter than all the areas we've talked about, about 16,000 people. Median house is 169,000. Uh, rent is um, 1038 Once again, I'd probably go closer to $1,400. And now also this median price value is not right. This area has a lot of expensive homes. It's probably because this area goes into a little bit more East Tulsa than uh, what I'm going to show you, but it's a lot more expensive than $169,000. i will tell you that. Get ready to drop anywhere from three uh, to, you know, about two hundred fifty to about 400,000 in this area. And then owning, yeah, that's probably about right, 25 to 75%. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this zip code has to offer. So this right here is 74114. So you'll notice we have a lot of things to do in this area. We have Cherry Street, which is very nightlife driven, um, really cool place to hang out, go out to eat, bars, all that great stuff. Have a lot of friends that are in that area. Tulsa's right down the street. Great place, you know, to, you know, go out to eat once again, go see a game, go see a concert, uh, go see, you know, something at the Performing Arts Center, which if you need things to do in Tulsa, check out that video above. It's great. I just made it and you need to check it out. So let's go ahead and go back to this area. So there's a lot of things to do in this area. This is our Brookside area. So right here, this street is Brookside. It's a, once again, just like Cherry Street in downtown, it has a lot of bars, a lot of shopping and things to do. Also, you had the gather, gathering place when you lived in live in the zip code. You have the Philbrook, Philbrook Museum, and then also you have Woodward Park, which is right here, Woodward Park. Utica Square right here at 21st. The, this is a lot of shopping and a couple of restaurants that you can go to. And then if we go a little bit east, we have the Tulsa Fairgrounds, um, which is going to be a home to our new BMX uh, Olympic Development Center, which is really, really cool. So another zip code that you want to look at other than 74114 is 74105. So this is just a little bit south and we're in this area. So I would actually bring this area up a little bit north. So I wouldn't go down to this far south Peoria. I would bring it up to 66th. Um, 
And then also I would bring it over to this Patrick Henry area. Patrick Henry um, is developing really, really well. A lot of people are going in there and flipping houses. A lot of people are trying to get out of this Midtown area because it's getting really, really expensive. And they're making way, their way over to Patrick Henry. So it's a really great place to live. Um, once again, we have a lot of restaurants. We have some grocery stores down there like Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, Reesers. We have, you know, um, some stuff like that that you can go and shop at. So it's a really, really great area. Now, I will say this. If you don't have kids, I would go backwards on this list. I would start with 74114. Look for a place to live if you have no kids, if you're newly married, or if you are single, go backwards. I basically started this off with best school district first, just so you know that. All right? All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, this is helpful for you. But if you want some more information or you know more detail on what Tulsa has to offer and also what areas are you know good for me and my family or just me to move to, please reach out. Once again, I've helped many, many people. Um, you know, I've done Zoom calls with people. I've, you know, shown people area virtually. I went and showed rentals uh, to people through FaceTime, you know, walk them through the house. If you're coming into Tulsa to do a tour and you need a tour guide, call me. All right. I'd love to help you. I'm not lying when I, when I tell people, when I say on these videos, if you need anything regarding Tulsa or just anything in general, I want to help people. And that's the reason why I made this channel. You guys do me a huge favor in watching my videos, which I'm very appreciative of. So at least, at least I can do is help you, you know, when you come to Tulsa, if you have questions in Tulsa that I can answer and basically be your guide here in Tulsa. So I'm done talking to you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and it was helpful, but I'm out of here. So Steven out. <laughs>